You've probably heard the news about the latest milestone in the development of a coronavirus vaccine. A COVID vaccine developed in just six months, 90% effective in the group of drug trial volunteers. The vaccine showed to be more than 90% effective. Has shown a 90% efficacy rate in a trial with more than 43,000 participants. But did you know that the founders of the German biotech firm that partnered with Pfizer and is currently responsible for developing the vaccine were actually children of Turkish Germans? Ur Shahin and his wife Özlem Türeci founded BioNTech along with Ur's former professor Christoph Huber in 2008, right in the middle of the global financial crisis. But in just over 12 years, BioNTech, which was initially focused on developing medicine for cancer patients, has grown into a world-leading biotech company that has hired over 1,300 specialists and with an enterprise value of over $20 billion, making it the third largest in the world, narrowly behind Denmark's Genmab and America's Moderna Therapeutics. But perhaps what is more remarkable is that BioNTech is, in fact, Shahin's second billion-dollar biotech company. He co-founded Ganymede Pharmaceuticals in 2001, which was dedicated to developing therapeutics for cancer treatment and was eventually acquired by Estellas Pharma in 2016 for roughly $1.4 billion. His rampant success in biotechnology has seen Ur Shahin become one of Germany's 100 richest people, despite his humble origins. Born in 1965 in the industrial town of Iskenderun on Turkey's southern Mediterranean coast, Shahin and his family immigrated to Germany when he was just four years old. His father worked as a laborer in a Ford car factory in Cologne. Shahin's wife, Özlem Türeci, who was born in Germany and is BioNTech's chief medical officer, was the daughter of Turkish immigrants from Istanbul. Both their families had immigrated to Germany as part of the Gastar Baytar guest worker program between 1955 and 1973 that encouraged foreigners to immigrate to the nation in an effort to ramp up the economy and industry after the economic fallout that followed World War II in Germany. As many Turkish families immigrated there in hopes of finding new lives and opportunities, many were subjected to racism and discrimination. The incredible achievements of Shahin and Turija have been hailed by German media outlets as success stories that counter negative stereotypes often applied to German Turks that reduce them to nothing more than lowly educated greengrocers. People on social media have also been commenting on their achievements. BioNTech's path to developing a coronavirus vaccine began in mid-January of this year, when Shahin first stumbled upon a report in a British medical journal that detailed the symptoms of a new virus that had surfaced in Wuhan. Well before it had been classified as a pandemic, Shahin and Turija were already on the case and realized that their current approaches to mRNA treatments for cancer could be adapted to produce desired immune responses against coronaviruses. Within a few days, Shahin had directed almost 500 staff to the new project Lightspeed, which was dedicated to developing an mRNA vaccine for the coronavirus. Their quick progress drew heavy investment from pharma giant Pfizer and Chinese pharmaceutical producer Folsom that saw them both become official partners in March. Both Shahin and Turija have been described as being humble and wholly dedicated to their craft by fellow colleagues and peers. In fact, even on the morning of their wedding in 2002, both of them were working in their labs, and after a brief interlude, during which they visited the marriage registration office, they quickly returned back to their labs, donned their lab coats, and went straight back to work. The two are now referred to as the dream team behind the coronavirus vaccine, and even though their vaccinations are still to pass through the final stages of testing, their 90% success rate is unprecedented and bodes well for a widely available vaccine in the near future. Pfizer and BioNTech are already finalizing deployment deals for the next year, with the EU opting for 200 million doses, 120 million going to Japan, a further 100 million for the US, and 30 million for the UK. BioNTech has also announced that it will be able to produce enough vaccinations to inoculate around 25 million people in different countries by the end of this year. <laughs> 